different cheeses for different needs. That's too Brent. That's too Brent, isn't it? You want David Brent, I'll give it to you. You got a Grie, a cheddar, a manchega, yeah? Parmesan. Hey everyone, it's James at Moose Bouche, and today we are again in the kitchen uh, that was in at Christmas time. Today we're going to be cooking up loaded jacket potatoes. We're going to be doing two different versions today. Two for the price of one. Two for the price of one. We're going to, on this side, be doing meat eaters. We're talking bacon. We're talking bacon, uh, spring onion, cheddar cheese, like a really nice cheddar cheese. And then over on this side, we're talking veggie. Mushrooms, leeks, cooked down with some mustard, some garlic, some thyme. Then we're topping that with a little bit of gruyere. We're going to be cooking up the jacket potatoes. We're going to be hollowing them out, okay? We're going to be stuffing them with the filling. It's going to be bellissimo. These, these could be a, a good little turnout, these. I'm telling you that because I'm sort of halfway through making them and they're looking all right so far. Loaded jacket potatoes. Let's get to it. So let's kick things off with the filling. Now, for the veggie option, we're gonna need two leeks. Just a little tip from the top here. If you leave the root part of the leek on and then slice right down the middle of the leek like this, it's gonna make life so much easier when it comes to washing out all the dirt that gets down in between each individual leaf. Would it be a leaf? Anyway, once you've washed them, we're gonna finally chop our leeks up and put them to one side. Next, mushrooms. I'm just using some chestnut mushrooms here and I'm roughly chopping them. They don't have to be uniformed, we just want them to cook down nice and quickly. Once chopped, we're gonna put them aside and we're gonna head over to the stove. Heat some butter in a pan and add your leeks. Let them cook down for a couple of minutes, stirring occasionally. When they've softened slightly, you can add some chopped garlic and season with some salt and pepper. We can then add the mushrooms. They're gonna take just a little bit longer to cook down, but you should try and get as much water out of them as you can. After about five minutes, you can add the leaves of six sprigs of thyme and mix together. Transfer this to a bowl and save for later. For the cheddar and bacon loaded potato, we're gonna chop up eight spring onions and then chop up on a different board, like so, eight rations of streaky bacon. Once they're all golden crispy like this, we're gonna transfer them to a bowl and then cook off our spring onion with a little more garlic and some pepper in the fat from the bacon. Once soft, we can transfer this to the bowl that we put the bacon in. Now, I've cooked some jacket potatoes in the oven for about 50 minutes at 180. You wanna make sure that they're nice and crispy on the outside, but the center of them is soft all the way through or else this just ain't gonna work. So if you're hesitant, just give them another five, 10 minutes. Take the potato and cut the top off like this. So it's like a little lid that you're removing from the top. Once you've scooped as much potato out of the skin as you can, put it into either the bowl with the leek and mushroom mixture in or the bacon and spring onion. This first bowl is the one with the bacon and spring onion. So I'm just mixing it all together with a fork, trying to break the potato down as much as I can. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of cream just to bring it all together. Now on this occasion, I'm putting this into a piping bag, but you don't have to do it. I was just trying to see if it would make life easier. Once the filling is back in the potato skin, add your cheese of choice. Obviously to this one, it's gonna be cheddar. So I'm grating some good quality vintage cheddar on the top. Pop your little lid back on and then get it on a baking tray ready for the oven. The leek and mushroom mixture is very similar. Mix your potato in with the leeks and mushrooms and here I'm just adding a couple of teaspoons of Dijon mustard and then again another tablespoon of cream. Then instead of piping these I'm just going to spoon them into the skins trying to press it into all the corners and nice and high out of the top of the potato. To finish this one off I'm grating some good quality grillet on top of the potato and again popping its little lid on and then popping it in its baking tray. We're gonna cook these at 25 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius or until piping hot in the middle. As a couple of things to top the potatoes off with, I'm just adding a little chili mix to some sour cream and mixing that together, finally chopping some chives, and then I've cooked some bacon until really crispy, let it go cold, and then chopped it up into a crumb. And there you go, a veggie and a meat version of the loaded jacket potato. This could work with a thousand flavors, but these two beauties are a great place to start. Have it two quite naughty looking little puppies. Oh, let's just bring them right in for you to see. This one, the bacon, the cheddar, 
the chives. This one also chives. I forgot that I put them on just until that moment then. But this one, we've got the mushrooms, the leeks, the mustard, the thyme. I think that one's gonna be better. Let's give them a try. I'm gonna give the bacon one a try first. Ooh, Ooh I don't know if you can see that. That's steamy. Oh my God. Oh, I was worried it wasn't gonna be hot enough. It's hot. Those little crunchy bits of bacon on the top. Lovely. The potato itself, because we've taken all the potato out, we've really worked it with the bacon, with the spring onion, but in the middle, that is literally like, it's just so lovely and smooth. The outside of the potato, still nice and crunchy. You do get a kick from that sour cream, that chili sour cream. That's special. This one, the veggie version, there's a lot more sort of like, I suppose, filling in this one. The leeks, there's more leeks, there's more mushrooms. But let's have a little look. The gruyere, oh, le gruyere, oh, lovely. That is, oh, that's nice. Oh yeah, that's really good. The gruyere is amazing. The leeks have cooked down, they're lovely and sweet. The mushrooms, really flavoursome, almost like a little bit woody, which is really nice. Earthy almost, like the potato, again, on this one, it's so smooth in the middle. Just by mashing that potato through, oh, <sighs> thumbs up on them definitely definitely give them a go because really they're not that hard to do they're quite straightforward it takes a little bit of time to cook your potato but apart from that things are quite easy to put together like and subscribe to the youtube channel get on these potatoes post pictures of the potatoes if you do them and send them to me because I'll, I'll repost them i'll repost them don't you worry about that but until next time see you later